Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna do a very 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 short uh, video about uh, replacing the charger, uh, the DC jack, uh, into an Acer laptop. Uh, this particular one, it's an Acer Aspire 7 series. Okay, this is, uh, this is the computer. And the reason I chose to uh, to do this video is because the customer who brought it in, uh, he mentioned that he looked on uh, YouTube and he saw that, oh, it's so complicated, you have to solder uh, the DC jack to the main board, um, and so far and so forth. So obviously, whatever video he saw, um, he either was incorrect or probably he looked for a different model than this one. So again, this is an Acer Aspire 7 series. Now, I said I'm gonna do a very, very short one. I already opened the computer up. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 screws. You'll need a T6 uh, tip. Once the screws are removed, uh, we're gonna lift, we're gonna put the pry tool and we're just gonna lift the back cover up. And this will give us access to the inside of the computer. Uh, this is your DC jack. So again, as you can clearly see, it is not soldered by any means. Uh, it is actually one of the easiest jacks to remove. Um, so basically in most of the computers you'll have at least one screw which is holding the DC jack together. This one doesn't even have that. So all you want to do, you're just going to lift it from these tabs. Okay, just like this. And you're going to pull the jack out okay that's all you have to do now we're gonna take uh, find the new jack okay so there's the old one we're gonna take the new one and we're gonna put it in so basically uh, you're just going to push it in align that uh, raised portion of the jack uh, to be upwards you push it in align the tabs with their respective you put it in and that's all it is to it it's very very simple it took me probably five minutes to take the screws out put the screws back in replace the jack and that's that this jack can be purchased for about ten dollars on Amazon um, if you're not sure which one uh, you need, if you don't find it by the model number of the of the laptop, you see this one has a Aspire 7 series, but it also has a more detailed model number right there. So you can either find it by that model number or wait until you open the computer and you see that the DC jack has an actual number right there, uh, which you can use uh, to identify the product. Uh, that you need to order. You're gonna put this guy back on. Put the screws. I'm not going to show you how to put the screws as that's pretty self-explanatory. Put the screws in and you are good to go. Also, uh, what I wanna mention, uh, it's worth to check, um, to check the actual charger. Make sure that your uh, charger is good. Uh, you see they have this uh, tip right here make sure that that's present the blue tip because sometimes the this part breaks off and uh, then the charger will be shorter it's not gonna make contact with properly with the dc jack so uh, i guess that's the fastest video i've ever made uh, that concludes our video for today i hope i helped somebody again uh, if you see a video on YouTube and you're not entirely sure it's worth to just open the computer up Most of the computers are very easy to um, To remove the back cover take a peek inside of your computer if it proves to be something too complicated Or you don't have the right tools for it or anything like that Take it to a, a technician uh, take it to a repair shop close to you, but many times the 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 jobs are very very easy and uh you know even if uh, you don't have the right tools you can buy a set of tools for about probably five seven dollars don't expect to be like a very good uh, tools but it's gonna it's gonna help you to do one job 
so uh, yeah thank you guys for watching um, if this video helped anybody please like the video or leave a comment subscribe to my channel take care